Hi guys, we're down on the coast. We're gonna make some paella. Okay, so for those that haven't heard, we're doing a series of videos called Moving Out. Because my son is 18, he's moving in, he's moving out. He's asking me what I should do, what I should cook, how about grocery lists, and all that sort of thing. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start making some videos. And then when I'm gone, he can just have a look and see what's going on. So guys, what I'm gonna do, Ideally, I like to cook in a paella pan, which is this one here, something I prepared earlier. But I'm working on induction today, so I can't use my paella. But when I'm at home, I have gas rings, so I can cook it on that. So all we're gonna do is put some spray oil. As we've talked about earlier on, you can use olive oil, vegetable oil, whatever will match your heart sink. Now, can you see my pans? It's all caramelized and nice and hot. I'm gonna get my onions in there, and we're gonna get them browning. And can you hear that sizzle? That's what's making my heart sing today. I just love hearing the sizzle. I've also got some beautiful chorizo. I actually got this one that's gluten free. And I'm just gonna put that in there and let that brown off as well. We're also gonna put some chicken in our um, paella today. So with your paella, it's basically whatever you want to make your heart sing. I've also got some chicken, boned out chicken thigh. It's really quite affordable. So if you buy it in a big pack, you can break it down into serves. So maybe you're only serving two or four, you can break it down and put it in glad bags. And so there's enough for everyone. So this one, I'm just gonna cut this into strips. So there's nice big pieces um, for people to see when we're actually put the rice in there and cooking. When you're doing the paella at home, over the barbecue, you can actually uh, have all the prep done and make it a, a little event when you're having a big party at home with all your friends over and everyone can put in their two cents. Now I'm just gonna pop that chicken around the place and that can caramelize. And I'm not gonna stir it too much just so it can do its own thing. So I like to brown things so you get a lovely crispy flavor on that. Whenever you're using chicken, just make sure and wash your hands, wash the board, so you don't cross contaminate anything that you're going on. Today we're going to put some capsicum in there as well. Just have got some peas because I love putting peas in my paella. So we're just going to put in your board there and just clean that off there so we've got everything lovely. And I thought we might put in some calamari as well. So you can buy these calamari tubes at your seafood shop, just like this, a big guy like this. And all you need to do is cut it up into little circles. It's as easy as that. Now, if you want, you can marinate that uh, that calamari in some yogurt, and that's just going to make it really tender. Or maybe you've got some buttermilk or milk. Um, that's really nice as well. Now, I'm not going to put this in yet, guys, because this cooks super quick, and we don't need it till the very end. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to cut up. Some people are a little bit nervous about that, guys. Alright, I can hear the sizzle going on. Sounds good. How about we get some seasoning in? So as I mentioned earlier, it's really important to season. I quite like using cracked black pepper or flaky sea salt or just get yourself a grinder and get that seasoning going on. All right, they're looking good. Now let's get a few flavors in there. I'm gonna put a little saffron in there. And saffron's quite expensive, um, but it does give you beautiful color. I'm also, I've got a little bit of uh, turmeric and cumin. I'm just gonna put some of that over the top. And I quite like using my fresh garlic. Got some over here, making around. Got a bit of fresh garlic, so we've crushed that with our fork or we smash it up with a knife and then I think a little bit of turmeric would be quite nice let's put a bit of turmeric in there so this turmeric is so beautiful and fresh I'm not even going to bother peeling it if you wanted to peel it you can just get yourself a little teaspoon or a little teaspoon and you could simply just peel it like that but today guys I'm not even going to bother peeling it because it is so super fresh and lovely. I'm just going to zest that straight on top there. And that's going to help give a lovely colour. See that? Oh, I can smell that caramelised. Caramelised and onion going on there. So let's give that a little bit of a stir. Oh, yum. Oh. Looking good, guys. 
just give that a little shimmy around the pan there. Smells good. I love cooking with the shimmy. And so we've got the fresh ginger, uh, sorry, we've got the fresh garlic in there, turmeric, a big hunk of turmeric. Never have enough turmeric or ginger for that matter. I might even put, let me see, I've got a little bit of ginger lurking around here. Something I've got down here. And we'll just put a bit more ginger in that because I like all this. Lovely fresh flavours. Oh, that's smelling pretty good, guys. So I'm just going to let that brown off, and then we're going to add in some rice. So we'll see you in a minute, guys. Stay tuned for some lovely paella. Be back. Okay, guys, I'm just going to put a cup of rice in there, and then we're just going to brown that off. And then we're going to put our liquid in there. Now, you can put a stock in there. Because I'm going to have chicken stock and beef and seafood, it's up to you what sort of stock. Can you see that, guys? All that yellow loveliness is just looking amazing. Okay, I'm seriously getting excited now. That chorizo is brown. There's nothing better than a bit of chorizo with that caramelized side on it looking delicious. Okay, so we're going to get some capsicum. So I've just cut up the whole capsicum. I like my things quite big and chunky. Once again, guys, it's entirely up to you. We're going to leave the calamari and the peas till the end. And get a bit more shallot action in there. And then, I'm going to put a little knob of butter in there. And then we're going to get a liquid. So we put one cup of rice in there because we're making a quite uh, intensive the protein today, so I'm not going to put extra rice in there. So remember, one cup of rice to two cups of liquid. So I've got some chicken stock here, so I'm going to hit it with this, and then we are going to reduce that. Go out the back deck, have a glass of wine, and then come back, and ooh la la, it will be magnificent. And then we'll be able to just finish off with our calamari. Oh, listen to that sizzle, it's loving that. Just loving that chicken stuff. Alrighty guys, can you see that? I'll see you in a minute, bye. Hi guys, look at this, it's all that liquid has absorbed. Now cut up that calamari there, and we're just gonna pop that in, all that lovely strips of calamari. And then I've got uh, some peas in there. I've got to mention before, if you wanna put some chili in it, that's really lovely. And also a little bit of paprika. That's uh, just gonna tart that flavor up a little bit for me. And if you wanted to, you could get a little can of diced tomatoes as well. Or sometimes I even put prawns in it, which is really nice. So it's totally up to you how extravagant or how decadent you want your paella to be. But once again, I do really love cooking it uh, in my paella pan. Um, so you can get them really easily at the kitchen shops as well. So how, look at the color on this guys. It's so vibrant and lovely. If you wanted to, you could brown that calamari off um, to get it a little bit crisper. Once again, this is entirely up to you. Look at the colors on that, it's really popping. So I'm just gonna serve this up for you can, so you can see what's going on there. There's big pieces of chicken. And what's really nice as well is to get some lovely mussels and put on the top of that. That would be really lovely. If you wanted to do some more parmesan on the top, or sometimes I do giant shallot curls just to make it pop. Guys, it's nice and simple and that's good to go. Hope you enjoy. See you soon. Bye-bye.